So in this video, I'm going to talk about SN1 nucleophiles and the types of nucleophiles that go along with SN1 reactions. SN1 nucleophiles are a little different from SN2 nucleophiles because remember, we talked about for SN2 nucleophiles, they generally required a really strong nucleophile and most of the time it was negatively charged, such as a hydroxide or an OH- group. On the other hand, an SN1 nucleophile doesn't need to be that strong, and SN1 reactions are generally carried out with weaker, more neutral nucleophiles. And one cool thing that you can get with SN1 reactions is a solvolysis reaction. And a solvolysis reaction is essentially when the nucleophile also serves as a solvent. And you have two different types of solvolysis reactions. You have one in which the nucleophile acts, sorry, the water is the nucleophile, and that is called hydrolysis. And then you have another reaction when the nucleophile is alcohol, and that reaction is called alco alcohol lysis. And so because of this solvolysis thing, um, nucleophiles and solvents are often intertwined for SN1 reactions. And next, let's talk about how the solvent can affect the rate of the SN1 reaction. And so first, let's recall the rate determining step of the SN1 reaction. And so that would be the formation of the carbocation, which is what I've drawn right here. And so let's think about it a little bit. How can we get this carbocation to be more likely to form, to essentially push the equilibrium to the right side? Let's think about what type of solvent that we would need. And so our goal of making this SN1 reaction proceed faster is to essentially just stabilize the carbocation and the leaving group, which is this X or halogen that I've drawn right there. So that's our goal. If you stabilize a carbocation and leaving group, that's going to push the equilibrium to form more of the carbocation and leaving group, and so that's going to make the reaction go faster. And so in order to do this, we're going to need a polar protic solvent, such as water or alcohol. And it's important to remember the solvent is often, often also the nucleophile. And so polar protic solvents are going to be very good at stabilizing the carbocation and the leaving group, and therefore is going to be the best solvent for an SN1 reaction. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.